Hello, I'm Liz with Hot Campers and we are going to be doing a walk for a break. Now you'll notice Ray's is a bit smaller than the larger bands that we have, um, but he has all of the same amenities with the size of our compact bands. Over here we have your fridge. Down here we have your um, portable stove, so you can cook either inside or outside. We have your gray water tank here. It holds about five gallons of water, of gray water. Um, you have your overflow valve here. Try not to use it. Um, we just have it there for emergency cases. Uh, once you have your gray water tank filled, pull this black tube out all the way. Press down on this gray button here and pull out and then unhook everything. You'll take it out. Once you finish emptying it, put it back in. Plug your overflow valve in and put your black tube back in as well. Um, and then obviously don't forget to strap it in. Uh, right over here we have your electrical panel. So we have your ceiling lights. We try and label everything so it's easy to use. Counter lights, floor lights, which are a really nice night light. Um, your water pump. Uh, only turn this on when you are using your sink or your shower. Um, then you have your fridge. And then this right here is an outlet. And this is going to be your in-cabin um, heater. It's your gas heater, so it's connected to your gas tank. To use your heater, press. And then you simply adjust here. It's a little delayed, but you can adjust your temperature here to whatever you want. And then once you have it set, just press the center button. This little coffee signal means that it is heating up. You will, no, you hear it turning on right now. Um, it takes a couple of minutes to heat up. Um, cold air will come out for the first couple of minutes. But once it heats up, then you'll start feeling um, hot air come out. And then once you want to turn it off, just press the center button again. And a little um, hourglass will show up. This means that it is cooling down. So air will still blow out for the next couple of minutes. And then it will turn off completely. So this is an EcoFlow touchscreen. Press the power button here to turn on your screen. Um, this is your output, so we're going to go back, and this is your full system. Um, right now, all of your power is going into your lights counter, all of your lights in your water pump and fridge. To turn on your outlets, to turn on the inverter, just press the AC, and then your outlets will turn on. Just remember, when you're done using your outlets, and you don't have anything plugged in, turn off the AC um, because that will continuously draw power from your battery, which you don't want. Don't touch the DC because that will completely shut off your system. And that's all you need to know about this. Um, and then just turn off the screen. Um, this right here is your leg for your table. So you see this piece here. This is actually gonna go right here. You're going to pop off the black cap. You're going to line this with this bottom piece. Set it down there and then twist clockwise to lock it in. Ta -da! And then your table is right back here. You're just going to pull it out. <laughs> and it will pop in. Um, obviously, it's a lot easier to do when you first swivel your seats, which I'll show you later. Once you're done, you can just pop the table back. And then, don't forget to store it. Take the leg off, turn counterclockwise, and then pull out. Just don't forget to put the black cap back on. Don't want to trip on it. Now I'm going to show you the seat. So to swivel your seats, you're going to see these um, square panels on the corners of each seat. 
This one on the right side of the passenger seat is going to adjust your backrest. So you can see that. <laughs> and then on the other side, you're going to pull up just as I did with this, and that's going to swivel your seat. Um, for swiveling, I recommend pulling the seat all the way forward, and then and then that way you're less trash. Um, the driver's side uh, handles are mirror, so these handles are mirror images of each other. So right, the outside panel is for the back, and the inside panel is for the back. To use the ventilation fan, just press the on button and the fan will open automatically. To adjust the speed, just press the plus or the minus button and that'll adjust the speed. If you want to adjust intake or outtake, just click in out and the fan will stop and reverse. Once you're done using the fan, just press the off button and it will close automatically for you. Please don't open or close this manually or try to avoid doing so. Um, yeah, just press the on and off button and you're set. Right here we have your access to your garage space, which will have your curtain panels that are magnetic for your rear uh, windows and for your sliding window or sliding door. Um, and then we'll have a separate hanging curtain panel that will hang off of these hooks that you'll see in the corners. So just hang the corners off the sides of these guys. We have your garage light here. We have another outlet right here. And then right over here, we have your plumbing. This will also show you your clean water uh, tank levels. We marked it so that you don't fill it up too much. Um, we don't want you losing any water. Right over here is where you're gonna fill up your clean water tank. Just twist and pull. We put the hose in there. And then just remember to seal it so you don't lose any water there. Right over here is your spray port for your shower. This is your outdoor shower. Your red tube is going to be connected here, red to red, for your hot water coming out of your water heater. And then your blue tube is the cold water coming in from your clean water tank. So you're gonna plug this here, and then this piece connects right here. Um, once it's connected, you'll immediately hear water rushing from your tank into the system and then out through the shower head. Uh, before plugging everything in, I highly recommend keeping this off. Um, if you have it open, the water will immediately spray out into your face. Uh, and then this is your propane cylinder. So you're just gonna, perpendicular is locked. Make sure you keep it closed until you're ready to shower. And then you just turn it to open the, to open the the gas line. Right over here, I recommend keeping this at minimum um, because the propane can get really hot uh, and then adjust temperature accordingly. Uh, this, I don't think it really does anything because there is just one water pump. I don't think it actually affects your pressure. Um, once you're done showering, to release this, you're just going to push back and pull. So you push back and then pull. And then close this to release this piece. Same exact system, pull back and pull. So you're going to pull back and pull. Here we have your shore power, uh, just in case. Um, you probably won't need to use it, but you know it's there if you need to plug into any outlet for extra power. Over here is your fuel door. 87 regular gas. That's pretty much it. And that's it for our walkthrough with Race. We hope you have a great trip. And thanks for watching.